denim skirt. A picture of the front and back finished sample and the finished plan. You start by tracing the skirt block down to the knee line, writing the abbreviations hip line, centre back, centre front. Lower the waistline 3 centimetres front and back parallel to the top waistline edge. Draw in your waistband. This sample has a 4 centimetre waistband parallel to the top edge. Draw in your back yoke. This has 8 centimetres at the back to 2 centimetres at the side. Draw in your back patch pocket. This one is 3 centimetres from the centre back line. The length of the pocket is 10 and the width is 14. The bottom peak is 2 cm lower, giving a soft triangle. Extend the waistband out by 3 cm at the centre front edge for the waistband and connect down to the zip notch 2 cm above. This is for the fly back and the fly front closure. Draw in your pocket. Any shape of pocket is fine. This is a high curved pocket and then draw in your pocket lining. Your length is 20 centimeters under hip line as a little straight skirt. Number your pattern pieces or number on the plan to make your pattern pieces. So the back skirt, pocket, yoke, waistband, front pocket, fly, waistband. And don't forget the pocket lining. Trace off each individual pattern piece to make the pattern to add on the seam allowance. So tracing off the waistband at the back first, the centre. You do not need the dart, so you move the pattern piece to close the dart in the middle of the waistband. The same same for the back yoke. In a minute you will see with the seam allowance. So you trace off the centre piece to the left side of the dart, move the pattern piece Trace off the right side on the opposite side dart. Make sure when you're tracing you're leaving enough room to add in your seam allowance. The tiny bit of dart left you don't need. Move it to the side seam so the measurements remain the same. Don't forget to draw in your hip line on the pattern piece. Now you can see the three pattern pieces, or two of them. Add in a two centimeter hem allowance. The center back has a flat felled seam. This is being done with 1.5 cm, but you can also do it too. The center back of the yoke and the yoke seam, skirt back to yoke, also has a 1.5 cm flat felled seam. The side seam is the normal 1 cm. The side of the yoke, the top of the yoke, and the waistband is also 1 cm. The center back of the waistband is cut on the fold, so it does not need seam allowance. showing you where the flat felled seams are. The three circles show that you cut on the fold. Draw the grain line on each pattern piece which is parallel to the centre back. Now what we forgot to do was draw in the two dots which show where the pocket position will be when you come to sew the sample. Trace off your pocket, 
This has one centimetre seam around the edges, but the top edge, which is the opening, has a two centimetre hem. The grain line of the pocket is at a right angle to the top edge, not the position on the, design, on the plan. This will give the pocket the straight grain. Now for the front pattern piece. The front skirt at the side, you need to be careful to make sure that you're going down the pocket opening line and not taking it to the top. The part of the top is part of the pocket back. Don't forget to drill the, the notch position on the centre front which is where the fly will come to. And the grain line again parallel to the centre front. Add in the seam allowance all around one centimetre including the centre front edge. Your hem is two centimetres also the same as the back added on to the bottom. Number your pattern piece and draw in your abbreviations and writing for the zipper notch. The rest of the pattern pieces, the pocket back is to the top edge of the side of the skirt. The pocket lining has the same curve as the front skirt panel. Fly back has a dotted line down the centre which is going to be folded when you make it. The fly front number 8 has only 0.5 seam allowance around the curved edge which is overlocked. The waistband 11 has the extension which will connect to the fly back whereas pattern piece number 10 stops at the centre front. Each pattern piece needs a grain line, the name, the garment name, the cut information and the size. This is the finished pattern pieces for the whole of the denim skirt. The centre back and back yoke highlighted to remind you to cut flat failed seams and the pattern piece listing. This is the front finished skirt sample. This shows you how the fly is on the inside. The back sample and how the flat failed seams look on the inside at the back and the finished front on the inside.